You are listening to an episode of The Extra Real. Welcome to The Extra Real, a special bonus episode of The Decision Real, where we still do the same stuff with less people. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Just me and Randy today. Could have been more, but... Hey, you know, yeah. pe- people are busy. People do their things. People got laughs. It's fine. We're looking at a movie that Randy picked for this. It's fuckboy season. Fuck boy season. Yes. The Fast and the Furious. Don't, 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 don't. You know what? The first song I heard in this, besides the opening riffs and whatnot, was Limp Bizkit. And I went, That's right. what I was thinking of. All right, let's go. Yeah. Keep rolling, I, I believe it was. No. Yeah. Is it rolling? One of, I just listened to one. I was like, who the fuck is this? It don't matter. It's yeah. Limp Bizkit, and yep. it's... I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. I am a... It's not a bad soundtrack for it. Like, some of it's kind of... Eh. Well, so, you got to think, too. This movie is is old. I hate to say that, but it's old. This is pre-9-11 world we're living in here it's a different time yeah different music different styles different things people are into hence 2001 yeah yeah oh, 2001 20 21 years old almost 22 woof it is legal to drink yeah. in the united states it's, of america canada's 18 19 oh that's how yeah. it should be probably if you could no, vote well not here mm. full of fucking idiots over here everywhere's full here. of idiots yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What it's about, Los Angeles police officer Brian O'Connor must decide where his loyalty really lies when he becomes en- mm. enamored, yeah, that's a word, enamored with the street racing world he has been sent undercover to destroy. Enamored? Enamored. The fuck does that mean? Like, I'm looking it up. you like it, or... You're just, you're just gonna... And... And enamored in be, obsessed with maybe being filled with a feeling of love for oh okay so you can show you he liked it he loved it he loved it wants more of it he loved that street racing scene i i the one thing i want to say about this movie right off the bat is i like the way it's structured right like you watch any of the trailers you watch any of you know stuff going into this movie it's not really giving away the fact that he is an undercover cop right so when you see the whole build up to that first race and everything after it, you think he's just trying to be one of the boys and yeah. and you know I was thrown off a little bit because you first see him ordering a sandwich like he's been there for a while. Yeah, he's been going there for. A, well, I get it. He's working. Weeks? He's working for that Two whatever weeks. shop undercover. Yeah, and he's trying to get in, but it, it is just a little weird that he's just like there all of a sudden. Like they didn't really show a backstory. I mean, did they need to? No. They explained it a little bit. Yeah, and I do give them credit for how they 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 build this up and then you get that twist which it's cool because the twist literally changes the movie entirely yeah right like you think this is a guy going in the street racing scene who's just like i almost had you though like all this stuff you're like what the you fuck almost is had this? me you never right. even had your car exactly oh, well, here and, we and, go. It, it, but it, like i said it's funny because if you're watching that movie it's almost like eh you know, like I'm, I'm. This is okay. But then they put that twist on you that he's okay. an undercover cop, okay. so and you're just say, like, "This is the best one out of all." I definitely agree with that. Nine, ten, fifty thousand. Who I doesn't think, matter? I think or ten. How many people are in your family? I don't know. That's There's how many probably. movies there are because it's about family. <laughs> What I'm saying is, once that twist happens, it completely flips the script of the movie, and it's supposed to, but it just makes it so much more interesting and way better, right? Like, yeah. well, cool, we're having an underground racing kind of shit, and all this stuff is happening, and there's these people that are stealing VCRs. The funny line this guy says is, like, they got DVD players and, and stereos. It's like $1.5 million that they stole. And it's like, come on. How much were, was a DVD player in 2001? Probably... Up there. Think so? Well, I remember my dad telling me when VHS players came out, they were like almost $2,000. God, Jesus. In the 80s, right? God so damn. that's like, if you had one, you were living. You got the money. Right, exactly. Speaking of my dad, he's trying to call me right now. Too bad. You heard Not his now, name. Dave. We're busy. So 
you got to think in 2001, and I, be, I, I remember my first DVD that I ever purchased myself was Gladiator, right? And when that came out, it was like, I, it doesn't there. surprise me. I don't know why. Just a movie of that stature. Sure. Oh, it's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. The second one, Saving Private Ryan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. After that, that makes sense. Too. After that, I don't yeah. remember. But I do remember buying those and going, like, wow, man, DVDs are expensive. Um, everything is. It's expensive. Well, now it is. Yes. Back then, when I first bought those movies, it was like the new thing. And it was like, wow, okay, this is all right. And DVD players, how much? Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck. So, seeing what they're stealing and everything. And we've talked about this before on the podcast how the first Fast and Furious movie they're stealing DVD players and tube TVs. <laughs> and the last one, they're going to space in a Fiero. If I were to watch, maybe we should have done this. If I were to watch the first movie and the last movie back to back, and try to connect my own dots of how they got there, I feel like I probably could come up with a better story. <laughs> Just off the cuff. It's a big fucking stretch there. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, and that's well, I why fucking I fucking love it. So I, I have to say this. the only, I watched all of them up until Fast 5, I believe, or whatever the, re, the whatever the rebooted but same, same thing it was. Because they, they, never, they like... They well, didn't reboot anything. Well, they called it Fast and Furious again. No, this one's the Fast and the Furious. And that one was one's called Fast and Furious. Yeah, and five. There was Fast Five, four, and I believe they did Fast four and Furious. Four was Fast and Furious. Whatever. Same thing. To me, I don't know what they're trying Take to do. Take some words. They're running out of titles. That's what just, they're doing. Because then they started doing Fast Five and then Furious Seven. Also, when they made Fast Eight, why didn't they make the eight two tires on top of each other? Because have you seen the movies? They're not the smartest. They missed a lot. That would be the most obvious thing to do with a tire. Well, yeah. Well, they did put them in a little case, all the DVDs. Yeah, we talked about that, too. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And, uh, each one of those DVDs better have had a, just a tire or a rim on it. No, that would have been cool, though. Idiots. I know. Fucking mm. dumb. I wish they still did trailers that way, to where you didn't see much of the movie. Because now they're fucking, like, three minutes long. Yeah. Well, and it's one of those things of... Going back to people not having attention spans, right? Like, you have to hit them with something to see this movie. There's actually yeah. movies now that film stuff specifically for a trailer, and it's never in the movie. So that's that's smart. It is smart. Yeah. Or there's other movies that, like, let's say it's a whodunit type movie. They will film four different endings or four different things just in case it's an outside thing or there's other people that are there and they're, you know, spoiling it to the internet saying, oh, this is the person who does it or this or that. Well, now you don't know, right? We just filmed four different Joke's endings. on you, bitch. Exactly. It could be this person. It could be that person. Yeah. Only the, the editors and the director and writer probably would know what's up. Yeah, because you got people like Tom Holland. They keep going on fucking TV yeah, th shows. That's the other thing, too, right? Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so innocent. Uh, where to watch The Fast and the Furious, you can watch it with a subscription to The Cock. Good old cock. Good old peacock. Yeah. It's on there to, to watch. I didn't check if any of the other ones were. I just know the first one was on there. I'm assuming the first three are probably on there because they're like a different thing all yeah. entirely. Uh, to rent, though, you can watch it on YouTube, Vudu, Google Play, Apple TV, and Redbox. Randy's like, I can just watch it wherever because I own it wherever. I don't, actually. I, I lost you said it. I lost it. Oh my god. You almost lost almost, that. Jesus Christ. Almost lost the I old beer. Fucking with the... This was written by Gary Scott Thompson and David Ayer. David Ayer went on to write The Suicide Squad, not the newest one, the one before it that sucked. Was the new one better? Way better, but I still just So not good. You would like it. I like Margaret Robbie. She she's in, she's in both. I, in, yeah. In, that's the only words. Well, there's some other constants between them, but it's something about that the newest Suicide Squad where, I don't know, James Gunn came in and did it and did a phenomenal job, but it just, something felt missing to me, and it just, because of that, I couldn't, like, fully get into it. Like, I liked the action, I liked the way it looked, I liked every character, I liked the, you know, the payoff at the end, but something just felt like it was missing to me. So, I just couldn't fully get into it and fully enjoy it. Did they just remake it? They're like, you know what? No. That one fucking sucked, let's do it again. No, they kind of retcon it at the beginning. They kind of say some dumb stuff, and then the, it oh. starts off really strong. There's a very cool intro scene that they do some stuff with, which definitely check that out. But then, I don't know, something just goes awry. What the fuck is she making up there? 
My wife is cooking something. She's yeah. I don't know. We're hearing it. I don't think you guys are, but no. it's fine. This is directed by Rob Cohen. He's also directed one of my personal favorite movies from the 90s. I know you have not seen it. It's called Dragonheart. Nope. Sean Connery is a dragon. <clears throat> That's all you need to know. Oh, okay. It's actually... It's, As a person or an He's actual... the voice of oh, okay. a CGI dragon. Okay. And that dragon still holds up really well. What is it called? Dragonheart. Dragon they, they made like uh, three or four direct... Huh, three or four direct to, to uh, tape, VHS, whatever, sequels in the 90s. But the first one, really good. One of my personal favorite. And again, it was for kids, right? It was a kid movie. That uh, looks dope. That's the newer ones. Oh. Yeah, no, of course that's going to look good. Okay. But, no, the original one was, I think, Dennis Quaid, I think. Uh, it was like 94. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't that look great? That doesn't look good to you? No. <laughs> Well, when was this? Like ninety four, probably maybe I mean, ninety three. They could have done better. They could have done better. They could have done better. But at the time, that was state of the art, man. And to have a fully fledged CGI character that wasn't in the dark like Jurassic Park was, and was actually talking and moving and doing all this stuff, it was good. It holds it's up. Mo- it's mainly head. What? It's mainly head. I mean, where's the rest of him? What do you mean? Where's the rest of him? That's all. It's a dragon they right need there. To be bigger. He's got wings that they come out. Done bigger. He's really big in the movie. It, like, that, that picture just doesn't do it justice. There was people standing next to it. He's huge. <laughs> Watch the movie. I'm just, I'm just saying, it kind of looked like me. Big old head, not much going on mm-hmm. everywhere okay, else. All right. you know Back to the Fast and the Furious. This is starring Vin Diesel as Dominic Toretto, Paul Walker as Brian O'Connor, Buster, Michelle Rodriguez as Letty, Jordana Brewster as Mia Toretto. Rick Yoon as Johnny Tran, Chad Lindbergh as Jesse, Matt Schultz as Vince, and Ja Rule as Edwin. Ja Rule. What's he doing these days? <laughs> I, 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 music with fucking Ludacris, probably. Yeah. Luda. Luda. Every time I hear Ludacris, I want to watch Fast and Furious. That's subliminal Every messaging, time. and it's working very Every well time. for them. Yeah, yep. they know what they're doing. Yep. It is rated PG-13 for violence, sexual content, and language. I do remember a fuck in this movie. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. It was uh, towards the beginning. Uh, it was yeah, at the party, I believe. The af- after O'Connor saved something. Ben yeah. Diesel. Yeah, when they come back, there's a fuck thrown in there. Mm. And I went, hmm, there's your fuck there for PG-13. There's That's the it. one. Right? That's all you needed. Now, there was a fun fact I didn't write down, but they uh, the original cut of the movie was R. And the way they cut it down to bring it back was at the end... Uh, when the dude gets his arm, not shot, well, it's not like it's shot with like a shotgun through the door of the truck, right? At the end mm-hmm. when they're, yeah. They were showing more and more like gnarly shit on his arm, like all fucked up. And they just cut all that out. Well, no, it did get shot. He was, uh, it was wrapped around like a wire. He was Whatever. like stuck hanging from it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But they took out. They should have cut it. Well, I mean. A movie like this, though, I think needs to be PG-13. Mm-hmm. Let's be real. You want as wide of an audience as you can yeah. see in this. And I was a kid then. I know I went and saw it. And I went, I want some underglow. Let's get let's get some underglow. Dude, I, I miss the car days. When you had nothing else to do but... Buy a fucking... Two, some dumb two, shit. Like a 98 Honda that had like uh-huh. 165,000 miles on it. It's like, still probably run today. And still running Honestly. and just doing what you needed to yeah. do to it. And rap, rap, rap. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember playing like Need for Speed Underground and shit. And you could customize your cars just Double like that. Edition. Yeah, I believe there was a game that That's had... That's Midnight Club. That is Midnight Club. There was yeah. a game that had the shot where they're jumping at the end over the train tracks from the front of mm-hmm. the Charger and the Supra. Mm-hmm. I feel like there was a game for PS2 that had that on the cover of it. It was like Test Drive something... Most want probably because it was a good shot. Over, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good shot. I will say, watching this not for the first time, but when I did watch it back in the day, I wasn't into those types of cars. I was into classic hot rods and stuff like that. So for them to bring that charger out at the end, I was like, all right. They had something for everybody in this in this movie. Car, car, car wise, yeah, yeah, car for wise. sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't have a truck. Where was my he had the Ford truck. Lightning. He had the Ford Lightning, which was cool because that was a you know a special the edition yeah. back then, and was fast. But I wanted that like give me the lifted fucking fifteen thousand feet high, the American flags on the back, 
Yee. Exactly. No. Whatever. <laughs> I was going to go into Trump there. And I, like, I can't because it's 2001. <laughs> it wouldn't have been. Anyways, runtime, 106 minutes. I think perfect length for this. Uh, I think the next one was a little bit longer. Too Fast, Too Furious. That I one's was, also good. It's good. Tyrese is in it. I like Tyrese. Gibson. I like Tyrese in that movie. I don't like him in Baby Boy. No. Which was funny. That was the last extra real episode we did was actually Baby Boy. That was back in like August. Yeah. It's been a while it's for the extra real to come back here. So uh, it's it's back. I had all the time in the world back then. Yeah. All the time. Hi, Gunner. I'm sorry. I didn't oh, mean to kick you, buddy. I'm sorry. He's trying to be friends down here. I don't know why, why he's down here. He doesn't like me. Oh, it's weird. This was released, like we talked about, in 2001. June two thousand. June 22nd, 2001 was released. So, I mean, this is summer blockbuster territory. Like, yep. let's go. Get in a fucking four-cylinder. and just... You ever been to a race like that? Like a street race? Uh, No, like race wars. Yeah, like, so they have it at MIR, the uh, the drag track here. Yeah. They do that, the tuners and stuff like yeah, that. I've yeah, gone yeah. to that. Uh, I've never gone to, like, a wide-open desert and watched a bunch of dudes. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd, be that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. And it, it's all illegal. Like that'd, yeah. be, that'd be cool. Well, but organized? No, it looked like it was on like a old like Air Force base. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I just remember dust flying. Yeah, it was a very dusty place for them to choose to fucking race cars. But I don't make the rules. We did uh we did something like that in Washington when I was in the cars. Washington. Washington. Mm-hmm. They had a uh, we had like a car show. But it was on like an actual like track, like racetrack, like circle and shit. And they had drifting going on out in the back. And they had a bunch of models walking around taking pictures and shit. It was cool. And then we did uh, did a lot more racing. God, Gunner, you're so spoiled. Yeah, my dog's just too spoiled for himself. Lay down. <laughs> Lay down. You heard him. Lay down. We're going to cut all that out. 17 minutes. I'll remember that. <gasps> the budget on this. We could guess if you want. No one else is here. Um, what do you think it costs to make The Fast and the Furious in 2000? Well, 2000, I guess they would have brought, you know, made this in good old 2000. There's a lot of cars. Mm-hmm. 32 mil. $32 million yep. you're going with. Yeah, there's a lot of cars. There's a lot of people. A lot of actors. Not big actors, really, but still a lot of actors. What a lot of up and coming. before? Uh, was Pitch Black before this? I don't remember. Not Pitch Black. Chronicles of Riddick would have been the first. Wait, wait, maybe it was Pitch Black. I don't know. Maybe a couple things, but nothing crazy. Nothing I remember he was in a Street Sharks commercial back in, like, the 80s. That's always good because he has hair, so it's weird to see that. Ew, what? Yeah. Definitely Google that. Yeah. Um, Is it Street Sharks? Street Sharks. You've never heard of the TV show Street oh, Sharks? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The cartoon, and then they had the, the toys, and he's playing with the toys. I had a bunch of the Street it's Sharks. Probably still have one in a box around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ew. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> it's a good thing he saves it. It's funny because I was looking at him. I always remember him being a bald guy. But in this movie, you can tell he has hair. He just yeah. shaves it bald. And yeah. I'm like, why would you know? You don't know what you're missing. Nope. Obviously now he knows because he ain't got no hair. Nothing left. Yep. Him and Jason Statham and The Rock really just doing what they can for bald men out there. <laughs> got to be big, I guess. Yeah, I got to be. No, whatever. Too much. Actual budget. Thirty-eight million dollars. Oh, I was so close. I want to say something. This is really funny. When it's just you, or on I do shows so where better. no one else is on, you're close. <laughs> I do so much better. I think you need to get them out of your head when you're doing it, and be like, no, focus. I think I just got it now because I was always like, it's got to be like the hundred thousands area, not hundred thousand, but like million below million. Okay. No, I always thought it was like eight hundred thousand or something. You thought like it that. would take eight hundred thousand dollars to make yeah. a movie. But I'm I'm getting it now. You're wrong. It only took me like what twenty six years. A lot more than that. Well, what? No, I mean like episodes. Oh, to understand what I'm supposed to be looking at and guessing. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of money involved in in, yeah. in movie making. Yeah. So speaking of money, what do you think it made at the box office? Oh no. Um, cost thirty two box office. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. That sounds. That seems low. I mean, you do you. I seem really low. I'll give you a context clue. How many movies after this did they make? Yeah, right. Mm. Two. Two twenty. 
220. 220. That sounds a lot better. Opening weekend, it made $40 million. So they made almost, they made their money back. They made their money yeah. back plus two in the first yeah. weekend. Overall, it made two hundred. In seven million dollars. Fuck, God. you're close. So close. Closer though. Well, two two oh seven point three million. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that was like, hey, let's uh make the sequel right now. Right, fucking and now. Let's I'm go. pretty sure Too Fast Too Furious came out like the year, or if not the year after, like yeah. two thousand three, because of yeah. And it was pretty much the same movie if you want to break it down. I like uh, that it had most of the same characters in it. Yeah. Cause Dominic's in it, right? Uh, Is Vin Diesel in the second movie. Uh. Uh-uh. He's Is not. he not? No. Nope. nope, it's just uh, Paul Walker, rest in peace. Yeah, you're right. And, good and Tyrese, Tyrese, and then uh, they're going up against that other, like the guy that's like trying to buy cars and they're racing. And, yeah, yeah, and Luda's in it now. Right. Yeah. Well, I need to watch that again. That's my other, that's the second best one. Weird, well, Weird I, how that works. I think it's the simplicity of the movies. Now they're too it's over the top and... and we need to have every single person you could possibly think of that can be in this movie. Let's bring them in, yeah. and then let's make it super confusing for everybody. Oh, does it make sense? It doesn't have to make sense. Yeah. We're going to take this bank vault, rip it out of the side of this building, and drive through the streets with it while breaking everything. And, and I don't it, like how he shifts all the fucking time. You, you got to go faster, bro. Every day, it's an automatic. I don't know. How's he downshifting? I don't know about you, but that's what I was just going to say. You don't downshift <laughs> when you're trying to go faster to then upshift to continue to go faster. That would blow out your transmission. Yeah. Then, uh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah. Top 10 that week. I'm going to say this. We were just in this weekend with a previous episode. Where were we? Mm hmm. Number okay. 10. The Animal. Nope. With Rab Schneider. Nope. You've never seen it where Rob Schneider is in a car accident and a scientist finds the wreckage, brings him back to his house, and puts him back together with animal parts. So because of that, he starts talking and communicating and being like an animal. Nope. I have not. This was like... That's what Frank that was the cusp did. before like you started watching probably those types of movies afterwards. For Probably, you, yeah, because you were what, two thousand one six? six, yeah. So you were you didn't even watch this movie. Nope, I didn't watch. So I didn't get into uh, Fast and Furious until I got into Cars, which was in two thousand fourteen, fifteen. Goddamn. Yeah. Number nine, Evolution. That sounds familiar. What did I just say? I mean, say? we're starting. It's, yeah, I know. We. Just, I'm just agreeing that it's starting to sound familiar. The the week. Is this the same exact fucking week? We covered the movie Evolution. Did we? No, we didn't. Yeah, we did, like three weeks ago. Which Or we did, was that the episode you missed? Might have been the one I missed. It's where the, the asteroid lands on Earth. Oh. Did you watch that? Yeah. Kaka? Tookie yeah, Tookie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean yeah, yeah, William yeah. Scott? You yeah. were on that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could you? I don't know. I got, <laughs> I got some fucking shit ass memory. God damn it, Randy. Number eight. Shoot. Moulin Rouge. Nope. Number seven. You've seen Moulin Rouge. Not seen it, but you know about it. The name sounds familiar. It was like the Isn't Avengers. It was like the Avengers of singing movies. Yeah. That's or, where you're like lost. Christina me. Aguilera and all these big name people came in. They I don't like the the singing ones. What well, I mean, called? I don't either. Yeah, but mm. singing movies? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call they're called. No. Soundtracks. <laughs> Fuck. Musicals. Yeah, thank you. Yep. God, that was hard. Over here at the Decision <laughs> Reel, our brains are firing <laughs> the same with movies, yeah. two cells. Yeah. Jesus. Number seven, Pearl Harbor. A scene I've done yeah, seen I that one. I was going to say, there's no way you're not seeing that movie. I've done seen it. Number six, Swordfish. I know. We've talked about this a couple times on this movie, this movie, this podcast about this movie. There's a scene... In which Huge Jackman mm-hmm. is having to crack some code while getting a blowy. We've talked about that? We have. Halle Berry also shows her hatatas in it. Oh, that's we have talked yes. about it. Yep. See, I knew you'd remember that. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I don't remember I'm doing a blow job. But I remember but the hatatas. Uh, John Travolta's in it as an evil dude. There, I know you're never going to watch it. There's a cool yep. thing that happens where they take these people hostages and they put 
vests on them full of ball bearings. And I'm talking like big old ball bearings with C4 on them. Mm. So basically every single one of them has a proximity sensor. So if they go away from a certain proximity from the guy holding that sensor, they... It's exploding. That's dope. Right? Come but on. they don't just pop. All those ball bearings go everywhere, everywhere and rip into everything. And let me just tell you, couple of those go off. Oh, I bet they and do. And it's... Uh, they wouldn't put them there if they weren't. Yeah. It was... Uh, you, you, movies... But good good That's for one sick. watch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some cool stuff that happens. And then at the end, you're like, wait, what? And then... Yeah, whatever. That sounds painful. Number five. Shrek. Shrek. Good old yeah. Shrek. Killing, killing the game. And number five. Oh, no. So it must have been... Oh, uh, oh. I think that came out like... This is June. Would that have come out in May? I think so. Yeah, or maybe like June, the first weekend in June or something. Mm. Number four, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Is that the, that's the cartoon one, right? Well, it is a cartoon movie, but yeah. it's not the one that we covered. We covered um, Treasure Planet. Tara last week, yeah. or last episode, got it uh, confused with this movie, The Atlantis, yeah. The Lost Empire. Both good yeah, movies. Yeah. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Top three. It's been a while since. No particular order. I'll tell you what's in the top three, and you have to guess the order. Fast and Furious is in it. Duh. Doctor Doolittle two, mm. and Laura Croft, was Tomb it, Raider. I'm pretty sure Doolittle two was a fucking bust, though. Um, I, I remember. Even know if I, I saw it. I remember the first one. I really liked the first one. I quoted the first one constantly when it came out because Chris Rock was like the fucking hamster, and it was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, Norm McDonald was the dog in that movie, and I love me some Norm. Uh, this That was like at the height of Eddie Murphy, too, coming off of yeah. Eddie Professor. I feel like the second one didn't bomb, but I feel like it was definitely I mean, inferior. clearly not. It's number, and, and, it's in the yeah, top three. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> I mean, you tell me. Yeah, but again, Fast and Furious is in there, Dr. Doolittle 2, and Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Now, Fast and Furious and Doctor Doolittle two are in their first week, and Laura Croft is in its second week. Okay, so Tomb Raider is what one? You're going Tomb Raider number one. Fast and Furious because they made the money back. Doolittle two. It is number one. Fast and Furious number two. Doctor Doolittle two oh, and number three. Man. Laura Croft. I had Kraft. I fucked that one up. Yeah, I, I will say I'm pretty sure Laura Croft came back because that movie was kind of big there for a second. Yeah, and then the second. You know, it's funny. I tried to watch that. It's on like HBO or something all the time, and I tried to watch it, and I couldn't get past like twenty minutes. Really? Uh, I don't know if it was just nostalgia on me, but I remember liking it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's like the video game. If I played that video game today, I'd oh, be like, what well, the fuck. The problem is, it's the controls, right? And you you can sit there and think like, man, that game was so yeah. good, but. You were limited by what you had, so you didn't know anything better. So you didn't have yeah. precise analog sticks that you could barely move and have a dead zone in. This was a directional pad in <laughs> which you pressed Straight, left, right, or center, right, or back, yep. and she didn't go where you wanted her to. No, she did not. It was bad. Yeah. I remember uh, Tomb Raider 2, I think I threw the disc. Okay. Well. Well, it was that it's bad. angry. Oh, yeah, because I was trying to make this jump. And you had to like, <laughs> you had to jump onto a platform and then back up twice and then like go forward once because your backup wasn't as long as your forward, right? So that's how you got to where this jump would be. And you had to make this giant leap and every time you had to land on this little platform and if you missed it, you went all the way like down uh -huh. and had to start all over again. I remember just trying that for like fucking two days and just yeah, gave up. I would have broke, I would have broke it. Or through the disc. Yeah, yeah, I would have been done. <laughs> I don't think I broke the disc, but I don't think I put it back in. It's like fucking um, Crash Bandicoot. I love me some Crash. I do too, but yeah. come on, man. Some of those things were fucking annoying. Oh, yeah, but on purpose. I mean, yeah. it was doing it to be that, you yeah. know what I mean? And it has to be. And again, you're in your times or whatever. It was funny. In Uncharted 4, there's... I don't know if you ever played Uncharted 4, but spoilers... Never even there it, I know. What are you doing with your life? I don't. I don't know. I don't watch movies. I don't play video games. Gosh. You need to play. You don't have PlayStation, right? You have Xbox. Yeah, P I have PC. Well, they're on PC now. Well, actually, no. The fourth game is in Lost Legacy, so yeah, you can't do that. Anyways, maybe Steve's gonna let you borrow my fucking PS3 so you can play these. <laughs> PS4. It's on PS4. Anyways, the um, 
in the fourth game, <sighs> they no problem. They they sit down and they play PlayStation, the original PlayStation console, and they start playing Crash Bandicoot. Right. Yeah. Well, guess what? You get to take control of him playing Crash Bandicoot. And so you're on 4? PlayStation Four playing a video game in which a person in the game is playing PlayStation One, and you take control. That's kind of dope. Right? That's fucking sick. Made by the same company, too. Naughty Dog made Crash Bandicoot and Uncharted. So it's a cool, you know, throwback to it. The problem is they changed it so the... Because they don't want you sitting there and playing the entirety of the game. Because you you, you, you kind of... You can go through a, a while. So what they do is they end up skewing what, you, what your controls do. Yeah. So it kills you at a certain point, or you can't make it past a certain point. That way ah, the story progresses. It's kind of funny, but... I understand why. Yeah, you I know get what it, I mean? but I'd be kind of pissed if I made it far in the game. In the game, that'd be dope. Yeah, and then you're like, oh god damn it! Now I got to restart. I'll just keep playing it over and over again. I will say, if you like a good single player action adventure story, Uncharted is probably the best video game for that. I haven't played a good game like that in a while. Those would be the games. Now, the first game will be a little jarring and janky to you now. But, I mean, Which it came out in 2006. Yeah. But I, I think, so they, they came out with, like, a remastered on PS4. That would probably be the game to play. Now, I'm not gonna I'm not going to spoil anything, but the game plays a certain way for a long time, and you get sick of it to the point you're like, come on, change, what, what's going on? This, this is it. This is it. Mm -hmm. And then something happens and completely changes the entirety of the game to make you go, oh, fuck yeah. Me and Wally go. still talk about it. That's how crazy this twist is and how well thought out it did stuff prior to this twist, let's say, um, to get you ready for it without you knowing about it. It's That's kind of sick. It's really good. And it, like I said, it's Uncharted 2 is my favorite PlayStation 3 on game. Mm -hmm. Metal Gear Solid is always going to be my number one uh, you know, video game series, but obviously they haven't had... I mean, Metal Gear Solid 4 was the last game that came out on PS3 that was in that era. Obviously, Metal Gear Solid 5 was great, but it was flawed because the story wasn't finished. But the best games to me are a single-player story in which I can digest at my own pace and I can enjoy how I want to enjoy them. Uncharted brings what I love the best about action-adventure, which I love Indiana Jones. I love that style of, like how would I say, action-adventure comedy-esque stuff where, like, you're spelunking and looking around for things, but at the yeah. same time you're having fun shooting people and doing this. It's the perfect combination of all that. Plus, the writing in general is great. I've never seen a video game play like a movie like Uncharted does, if that makes sense. So, Uncharted is the entirety movie. of it. And if you like the movie, the movie sucks compared to the games. Sounds pretty good. That's what I'm saying. Like, even me and Wally went and watched that movie and we went, huh, not bad. Wasn't the games, but not bad. And the only thing I didn't like about the movie is they, like, blew their whole wad because they took a lot of the large elements from each of the game and mm -hmm. put them into the movie instead of sort of doing, doing what the more. movie does. Yeah. Now, they didn't go into what the first game gets into with this kind of twist, which is I like that they did that. And we'll see what they do going forward if they do make a sequel, which they've already been greenlit to do, but who knows what's going on with Hollywood in general anymore. Uh, but I am definitely recommending to you, you need to play, if there's ever a recommended game series, Uncharted. Uncharted. And you can't just jump in. you got to play from number one on because it just yeah won't have the same impact. Yeah. So, And you, the cool thing, too, is with the, the, the uh, remaster that came out, you can play it on story mode. So it's not super hard. So you can just get through certain things and like there's puzzles in the games and stuff that they'll just be like, yeah, this is like fun. Favorite. Yeah, it, it's a great game. Yeah, honestly, it's uh, pretty sure one game, Uncharted Two, one game of the year, and is still regarded as one of the greatest like games ever made. And I believe firmly, you could take that game and make a movie, st like beat for beat, same thing, and it would be one of the best movies, action adventure movies, like Indiana Jones. Maybe they would. Well. Well, they should have, but they didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking fuck dumb. Fuck, dumb my ass. Tomatometer time. The Rotten Tomatoes score. The Rotty Tees. What do we think the dun, critics dun, dun, dun. and the audience gave the Fast and the Furious out of 100%? <laughs> critics probably shit on this movie. 
No. Well, uh, probably. Um, did they 57. 5773. 5773. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Critics gave this movie a 53. Box so close. Audience gave it a 74. That's Why is this happening close. to you? It's pretty close. When you're here by yourself, you're, good. You're, you're, it's like and they're the, never gonna listen, so they're never gonna know right. I'm good at this. It's, it's almost like the pressure's off. I know. Yeah. It's just Look me. It's just me. It's, 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 it's just me. It's just me doing a thing. Yeah. IMDB, let's let's guess that too. Out of ten. What do you think? That is six point one. Six point eight. You're in, you're in the ballpark again. Look at you, doing your thing, shooting your shot. <sighs> Those are warm. Well, they've been sitting down here since <laughs> yesterday. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. That's okay. It's tea. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's just tea. It's just tea. It's just tea. speaking of tea. This movie is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you not think so? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I started watching it again today. I didn't watch the whole thing because I didn't have time. I just wanted to throw it on and just like kind of go through it. And that's what I did. I think it it definitely suffers from the age of the movie. Hmm. So, like some of the dialogue, like there's a hard F in this movie in the beginning. Yeah. Hard F. Some people will say, "Well, what, that was just the way people talked." So, yeah. Nowadays, you watch it and you can't say that. Mm. Obviously, this guy was mad at this motherfucker and said it. Now, I will say this. Vince, I believe his character is the guy who's like, he's mm -hmm. a co-op. He's a fucking co-op. He was right the whole time, and they should have listened to this guy. The, like, they just thought he was being that alpha male dude, like, get the fuck out of here, you know? Yeah, well, he, was, he was being a little bitch about it, though. Yeah. I mean, like, when he, like, shows up at the party or whatever, and he's got, like, the bags, he's like, I'm out of here. You yeah. Know? And gives him the bags back, and then shows back up. And sits Looks down like, like you got help all the help you need, brother. Right. But he's like, gotta eat, right? Sits down, starts eating. Now it's funny, I didn't notice this until today. Somebody says, right as the camera's panning away from the party, like, Wait, would you go rent a movie? And what are they doing the next scene? They're watching a Bruce Lee movie. Yeah. So I was like, all right, that's kind of a cool continuity where you don't really see that much in, in movies today, like that sets up the You're next right, scene yeah. perfectly, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kinda like that. Um I want to go to a Cuban restaurant. Cuban? Yeah. Cuban? Sounds probably fucking banging food. Probably. Probably really good. Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on the Cuban restaurant. It could yeah. be, you know, look for a nice four-star on Yelp. I don't know. Is that still a thing? I don't think. Well, yeah, yeah. But I don't think we have that around here. No, definitely. We don't have Cuban. No. If we went to D.C., probably. Probably. Yeah, I bet you there's a bunch. I just feel like they got really good chicken. Yeah. Who doesn't make good chicken? I don't. Colonel? <laughs> KFC is fucking <laughs> suck. KFC is trash. Yeah, it used to be good, but it is definitely not yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I remember, so last time I had KFC in my homeland of Canada, I didn't realize that it smells completely different until in I had Canada it. from here? Yeah. So there's something about putting that chicken in a fucking paper bag when you're done that like gives off this different smell. So I don't think they have paper bags here. They put it in plastic bags, you know, and put it in the tub, right? If you're getting like fried chicken or whatnot to go, they put it in like the big tub with oh, the thing yeah. and they just put it in a bag. Well, in Canada, they still use big paper bags. And I don't know why, didn't remember it. And we went home, this was probably two years ago now that I'm thinking about it or more. Um, but that was the last time I had KFC there. And randomly, we're like, oh, let's get some KFC. We stop in, and I'm like, what is going on here? Did it smell this better? Smell, yeah. Like, yeah. But it was one of those, like, I hadn't smelled this smell. This sounds weird. I hadn't smelled this in, like, 20 years. Because I'm not going to go have KFC at home. I got KFC here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, yeah. I've never thought about it. But sitting in there and, like, smelling it, I was like, wow, all these It's because you're not things burning are coming fucking back. plastic. Well, that. You got paper in instead. But then we, you know, we got it, put it in the car, driving to where we were going to eat. I was like, this is bringing back so many memories. That's memories. Fucking, like, this is amazing. Yeah. And then we, I think we only had like, we didn't even get like fucking like the chicken, right? We just got like chicken fingers or whatnot. Yeah. But even that, I was like, this tastes so much different, but better. It was almost like the That's breading. Probably, I feel it was probably in your head. Maybe. It had to have been. Well, it's one of those things, right? Like different countries have different things that taste different. 
But to you, it might taste worse, but to me, it tastes better because that's what I grew up with, mm-hmm. vice versa, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think it was, because I, you know what, I think Tiffany even had it. She's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. It tastes the same. Yeah, she didn't say it tastes the same, but she was just like, this is just KFC, yeah. whatever. I think we got popcorn chicken too, and I was like, <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, um, yeah. Was they don't do popcorn chicken here, do they? They do. Like the, the little bites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like chicken nuggets. No, like there it's no, literally no, no. They it looks have, like they popcorn. Ones like that. Yeah, yeah, they used to at least. I, I don't. I, I used to get them. You get them with the mashed potatoes and put them in the mashers. Yeah, I don't think I they think do it cup. anymore. I Last mean, time I went to KFC, there was nothing on the menu that said popcorn. Well, KFC is trash, so I don't yeah. go there. They do have uh, here. I really like it. The uh, the Nashville hot sauce, whatever you want to say, yeah. chicken. There's something about that sauce that's like, it's not saucy. It's not thick. It's not it's, it's, well, it's like a thin sauce that puts like a coating of something else on it, and it has like a texture. The sauce has a texture, and it's 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 amazing. I want it. I want to bathe in it. Well, would not recommend that. Well, yeah. Because if it goes up in butt hole, goes in the other hole, you're like, oh my god. <laughs> goes in your pee. You don't want to get some Nashville hot sauce in your pee hole. Don't get in pee hole. Listen, your we're giving we're giving <laughs> we're giving out very good pointers here. Yes. No Nashville hot. In the pee hole. Nope. Don't put it there. Don't put it in the other hole. Just okay. put it in your mouth hole. Put it one hole only. One it's, hole. It's a one hole sauce yeah, only. You know. It's not Steve-O's hot yeah. sauce for your butthole. Mm-mm. It's it's for your mouth hole. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. All right. <sighs> Who is your favorite character of the Fast and the Furious? Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot we do this part. Safe. Uh, I kind of like Jesse. Why? Um, it's, he's smart, but he's also like... No, he's just smart. He's not dumb at any point. You're talking about the, the kid, right? Who, yeah, the who, one that f- drives away. Well, that would be the dumb part. Yeah, that was very dumb. That's why he got shot, bud. Right. Didn't Probably. He didn't die, right? Or did he die? I know no, he died. Oh, he did die. He did. He did oh, die. Yeah, that's right. He didn't. He did. Yeah. He made a fucking one movie. Yeah. Couldn't we make it more. Well, that makes sense, too, with the, the, the his character arc, right? Where, like, because him and Brian are sitting there, and he's like, man, well, you're smart. Why didn't you go to, like, MIT or something? Or, like, it, yeah. Uh, ADD. Right. To have that thing, attention disorder, yeah. I mean, so that's a good character arc because he's he's got like you know, he dies, <laughs> but he had potential. So, what an arc! What, yeah. That's... Well, no, it's a. I'm trying to think of the word of like a sympathetic character arc, right? Where yeah. you know, this dude's doomed almost. Yeah. So, well, you shouldn't have fucking bet the pink slip up his daddy's car. Well, you true. Then he would have been fine. Yeah, that was his fault. Yeah. I got him. I got him. Put the pink fucking slips up. I think he was like, oh, who are you racing? <laughs> you just fucking looked at his cars like two nights before. I know, right? And you know, the one thing I do want to say is like, so Dom cheats in every race. Does he? That first Ooh, race, no. he, motherfucker, he flips up the seat like, oh, nobody knows I have this. And when he hits the extra NOS button, it's behind like a cigarette lighter. It yeah. pops out and That's they part push of it racing, on top. baby. It's part of racing. I guess you're right because he's like, a win's a win. You can't let him know. Yeah. A win's a win. Doesn't matter <laughs> Doesn't if it's an inch by a mile. <laughs> When it's wooden. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, and that's one of those things too. Like, like, was was Brian cheating with having that NOS? I don't think so because he showed them he it's had all part it. of it. It's well, all I mean, part I of get it. It's, but it's the reason he had it hidden because you don't want other people to know what you got. Yeah, no, I get it. So, yeah. well, you show them you got some nitrous bottles, right? But you don't show them the bigger nitrous bottle under the seat. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. they're like, oh, he's only got two shots of nitrous. <laughs> hey, fuck you, bitch. No, he's got three. I'm gone. Don't. Too now, soon, Buster. You did not have nitro, nitrous in the charger, so you don't need it. Not yet. Not with that blower. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, not yet. Price. But you know, in the sequels. Yes. Got a nitrous Gotta everything. Put it everywhere. Up. It's funny. Does it really make that big of a dis- difference? Um, Probably not. It, I mean, it, it does, but it doesn't do that. No. It no. doesn't. It doesn't go. Hey, let me hit a shot of this. <laughs> I mean, it definitely pushes your shit harder, but. Oh yeah. I think it's pretty much all it does is just make it burn hotter. So then you, you're getting so. more torque out of your engine. Pretty yeah. Much. yeah. Piston starts going faster. It's like kind of like crack oh, for a car. Crack for a car. Crack cocaine. Why wouldn't they just call it crack car? Crack, well, crack, crack, crack. Probably some legal reasons. Maybe. My uh, favorite character, I mean, it's, it's a toss up. So it's between Brian and Mia. 
So mm-hmm. I don't like what Mia turns into after like Brian and her get together. I like her before, like the whole scene that we kind of talked to where he's like trying to make popcorn mm-hmm. and she, Brian's like kind of, Hey, we should go out, you know? And she's like, no, nah, I don't date my, my, you know, my brother's friends basically. He's like, ah, that's a shame, yeah. <laughs> you know? And then that dude comes in and he's like hitting the fuck. Why isn't this working and everything? And she's like, Hey, where's that place you wanted to take me out to? Cha cha cha. And he's just like, <laughs> Oh yeah, try, try. like his face lights up. Like I know, dude, he was still props, excited. Props to that guy for acting there because I was like, dude, this guy, good for him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah we, yeah, we can go, we can go. And she's like, you can you take can, me. Yeah, oh, fuck. Right. And I was like, ooh, yeah, I like that. Gotcha, I like that. So I liked her in that scene. I liked her before that too, where she was, you know, she was kind of taking control of situations and doing what she needed to do. Now I like Brian because I do like his. He obviously has the biggest character arc besides Dom in the movie, right? Where he's a hotshot, like, yeah. undercover agent who's like, I got this shit, whatever, you know? And then kind of has a change of heart and like, hey, maybe, you know, who should, what's better, family or the law, you know? The only part I don't like is when they arrest him on the street. That was a little weird, right? They arrest Brian? Yeah. Yeah. They just pull over the truck the night like, after that. Why didn't you just call him? We could have just driven Right. Away. And they're like, well, we got to make it look real. Well, okay, we'll just meet somewhere else. Yeah. Like, nobody's watching. You called him the night. Also, if Dom's doing his homework, which he shows that he is because he says that he, you know, I know where what you've done or, what, you know. Yeah. Wouldn't he know then that he got picked up by the law and then there's no report for that? Uh, there was nobody following him. What I'm saying, Bring though, you don't know that, right? Yeah, but, yeah. To me... Unless he didn't have any charges. But there would still be a, be there would still be a police report. If you pull somebody over and you fucking handcuff them and take them away, even yeah. if you don't get charged for something, there's going to be a police why, report. Why you, pull, why you arrested right, exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. So, I know I'm delving deep into this. Yeah, but I would question, like, where the fuck did that thing, where to go? Right. Where's the record at, bud? Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Report. Yeah. And that guy's like, Yo, he's a fucking co-op. Sorry, yeah. I gotta say it that way. You can't say cop. It's co-op. I don't think he's a co-op, did he? No, he didn't. But anytime oh, I hear okay. somebody go, he's a okay. cop, I'm going, he's a co-op. He's a co-op. He's a co-op. Yeah. So, and it's funny too, right? I liked his reasoning when they like question him. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing here? And he's just mm. like, it's for, for the race, man. I'm trying to see what they got because this motherfucker comes into the shop ordering three of everything. Was it two or three? It was three of everything and like all this. I was like, dude, that's pretty good thinking on your feet. And that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I'm you need a 10 second car, bro. Like, I'm yeah. here to help you. And, and what I'm, this is about, this is about I didn't like how he did that though. Well, that you was can, kinda, yeah. Yeah. He was he was trying he was figuring it out as yeah. he was going, right? So I think that's why he did it. I could have been a better actor. Like instead yeah. of oh, what this is about. He, he like, wasn't the best actor. It's Paul Walker. Let's be real. People, uh, you know, post motor mo- motor motor uh, post mo- modem. <laughs> Jesus, mortem, mortem. 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 People like to th- post mortem. Yeah, post mortem. Now that we say, yeah, yeah post mortem. Yeah, yeah. Be fucked up. Uh, people like to you know look back and be like, ah, he was great. He was really good. He was the greatest know. guy ever. He was a great actor. It, it, mm, no, it was what, cool. What was he doing in between these movies? Not he was on some stuff. He was on some stuff, but not like not the leading guy. Yeah. He, I, there was some movie where I remember being like in. Uh, under black lights and like they're playing roller hockey. I remember that. What the fuck was that? I couldn't tell you. He got like somebody slap shot him to the face. I don't know. <laughs> it was actually a decent movie, but I, he just wasn't. He wasn't good in it. I gotta look it up because I need to fucking know. He was in some chick flicks too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was in a whole bunch of Which, stuff. That would make sense. Yeah, I mean, he was a good, good looking guy. Pretty good looking guy. He was a pretty guy. Running scared is what it was called. Never heard of her. Running scared. Running scared. Yeah, there's a scene in it, like I said, where they're literally like playing. I, I bet you there's not going to show anything about it. Probably not. No, it doesn't even show. No. I just remember them being under black lights and doing some cool shit. Black lights are always fun. Yeah, with well, with hockey, and that's why I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Mini golf. I do, yeah, I, do. I would go to a great black light. What is it? Black light mini golf, right? Is what yeah. it's called. Yeah, it's glow in the dark mini golf. Glow in the dark, yeah. yeah. Or that, or they do, um, like, yeah, there you go. Ow. 
see the puck. Yeah. 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 That fucking sucks. To the face, yeah. That would not feel good. How yeah, fast do those things go? Uh, so if you're an actual NHL player mm-hmm. using an, an NHL rubber puck, vulcanized rubber, by the way, you can hit. So the highest rate, or how would I say, the highest ever like recorded slap shots, like 118 miles per hour. Mm-hmm. Now in the All Star game, they have it where they do like the hardest shot ever. Uh, well, not ever, but sorry, the hardest shot competition where they'll line up and take a shot. Now again, that's under somebody just skating up and trying to hit it. Who knows if it's being recorded correctly. In games, you can get higher because things are happening a little faster. Yeah. But I believe the highest in that was like 108.7 or some shit. Uh, Shea, so fast. Shea Weber. Oh, yeah, dude. I used to play goalie growing up. Yeah. Um, I was on uh, some high school ice hockey teams and some travel ice hockey teams. I've chipped my collarbone by getting hit with a, a puck. I've, I've talked about this before. I've almost lost breathing <laughs> for 10 minutes by getting hit in the throat um a whole bunch of stuff so i mean it, it it hurts even wearing the equipment yeah it's designed to take the the impact but you're still getting the impact yeah, it's still gonna, you're, just like a bulletproof vest people get up like feel it well that's the funny thing about movies where like people get shot and they're like i'm fine yeah N- no you won't be if you get no. shot in the chest depending on the caliber of, of bullet you're probably down for like 10 minutes you're going to feel it. You're, the wind is not you're body. You're not dead. Right, no. But you're going to feel it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a bruise. It's gonna be, you're going to get up like... broken, too. God damn it. I can't fuck. Yep. Put me, <gasps> put me on the injured list. Yeah. No, so, yeah. no. It, hockey's definitely... Uh, it's funny. They they set out to figure out what's like the, the hard... Not the hardest sport, but like the hardest hitting type of sport. Because everybody's mm-hmm. like, oh, football's worse and all this. It's not. Because yeah. football... Albeit, yeah, you're running at each other and tackling. Hockey, you're skating at each other. So you can get to higher speeds. You're going a lot faster. Right? Oh, well, the guys are bigger. Okay? Just because you're bigger doesn't mean it's going to be a harder hit. Yeah. If anything, it's going to be less because you're running slower because you're so big. Yeah. Hockey is right under boxing with regards to the hardest hits. Especially Obviously. You come like, from the fucking side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could show you a couple videos or a couple... Uh, DVDs, the Rock'em Sock'em Don Cherry uh, DVDs where it's literally just highlights of hits. It's, yeah. It's fucking this wild. This is the best. Oh, yeah. Dude. I love watching those things. Yeah, so, and it's funny because he's having commentary over top of it, so he's mm-hmm. like this old fucking washed up white dude who Sounds came right. from like the 60s. Like, yeah. These yeah. fucking guys. Yeah, so it's, it's a good time. I, I think I stopped buying those. I think I had up to like volume like 18 and I was like, yeah, I'm good. I don't need to watch this anymore. <laughs> no. It's all on YouTube. Fuck it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your favorite part or scene of the Fast and Furious? Probably the smallest part. It was um when they were when they just got done with the Supra and it was going down the lineup with that for uh Ferrari. Mm. He's like, What's the retail on that? Too much for you, pal. <laughs> Ferrari. Like, <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. I mean, that's pretty funny. More than you can afford, pal. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ferrari. Ferrari. Like, I mean, what the fuck? Ferrari's a fat. Let's be real. That Ferrari, depending on what was done to that car, would have holed up a lot better. I don't know. There's a lot of work in Supras. There are. You got two JDs in there. I mean, some bigger turbos, some nitrous. Up against a V12, it's port and polished and tuned perfectly by the Italians. Nah. That car probably only had like maybe 300 in it. 300, 300 horsepower, horsepower in a Ferrari. Yeah. Back in the day, 2001, they went there fast. Depending on the, the, the model. They went there fast. 2001 Ferrari. I'm just going to... Well, Ferrari. we don't know which Ferrari. It couldn't have been... It, it I might, know what it, it looks might, like. Okay. It's probably like a spider, like a 410 spider or something. But who knows if that was a 2001 Ferrari, right, in the movie. I mean, you could probably just type in Fast and Furious Ferrari. And I bet you oh, yeah. You're right. Fucking idiot. Look at us with our Google it's sense over here. And... My favorite part um, is definitely when you find out that Brian is a cop because it completely changes, like we talked about, the way the movie is heading for me, the mm-hmm. way the, the movie feels, the tone of the movie. And he changes, like, attitude in the movie, too. Like... Close the spider. Yeah, look at me. Look at you go. Didn't even know. Um, but, like, his attitude just kind of changes from this, like, cocky, like, I'm working at this parts store kind of dude to, like, a cocky, he's still cocky, but, like, you can just, like, yeah. the minute he gets out of the car and he's like, take these cuffs off me, they're too tight, his his, his demeanor changes, right? And, yeah. like, from the whole, the rest of the part of the, you know, the rest of the movie, you're looking at him completely different. Mm-hmm. 
So I like that. That was it the gives first us... time we found out he was a cop, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that it gives you that like view of him as just some random dude that's trying to get in with these guys yeah. versus now, oh shit, he's an undercover cop. Gotcha. Co op. And Co -op. I mean, at the end. Tokyo. But again, we don't know. Well, okay, they are saying that that's the car, right? Yep. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, it's not like the cars they make today with like 1,100 horsepower no, and no. all this shit. Yeah. Nope. Were there any what the fuck moments for you in this movie? Mm, not really. I enjoy this movie. I enjoyed all of the movies, so it's hard for me to find a spot. But like, I don't like this part. It well, is, not, not, I mean, it's kind of weird. I get it now. Okay. I know what you're asking me. All right. Um, smallest part when uh, you talked about it earlier when they were doing the uh, the lunch dinner or whatever it was mm -hmm. and he comes back kisses him right on the back of the head. There you go. Mwah. See, that's what I'm looking for. A what the fuck moment. <laughs> now that that didn't make me go. What the fuck? That made me go. Are they trying to make this seem like the Godfather esque where this is like how would I say like the mob and this is maybe like the new mob and I it's mean, all about family? Yeah, but still right. That Love you. Yeah, it, it yeah, was. Just, it was. Weird. It was. Yeah, it was very weird. Yeah. And for him being like, we've known each other since third grade. Before that too, yeah. I was like, ah, don't fucking kiss me on the back of the head, you weirdo. And he didn't even flinch. He was like, yeah, nope. that's right. Just, Respect. He, he eyeballed Brian after like, don't, oh god, don't look at that. Don't let him see that. Right. Yeah. I, <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> and like they sit down, and the way he drinks the beer too. That was I, I what for, like, what the fuck to me. It just opened. Uh, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Don't do that on camera oh again. <laughs> Make a gif. No, what I'm saying, but look, what is he doing? That's not how he drank a beer. No. Tong was out and everything. Yeah. Okay. Or was it? No, it wasn't. When he, he was first started. Okay, no, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. <sighs> I had a what the fuck moment, and now I can't remember what Sorry, it was. Sorry, my bad. I got through that. Yeah. Oh, no, it was at the beginning with Ja Rule when that girl comes up to him. Like when he's about to race, mm -hmm. and she's just like, "This could be your, or this is yours, even if you want." And she's just grabbing on and that titty. Be, this other one could be yours too, right? If you and win. then yeah, and then yeah. he's just screaming out, "Monica!" When Brian passes him, but he's in third place, and Brian passes him, and he still and he's, wasn't right. gonna win. So if he was winning, and then he gets passed, all right, but he wasn't. Yeah. So I was like, "What the fuck is going on here? This is stupid." <laughs> you weren't gonna get the titties anyway, bud. Sorry. Oh. Well, no, hold on. That girl, fuck her. She said, either you win or lose, this is yours. But if you win, you get her too. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Then he goes back like, Monica, what's up? Get the fuck. Well, she says something else, which I'm not going to say the N-word yeah, to him. Yeah. And she is not black. She was like she wasn't. Hispanic. Yeah. So that's even more racist. Yeah. That's well, our word. Well, that's like kind of the same. No, it's not. Anyways, so then she's just like, you ain't getting on to this. That's hypocritical. You said win or you lose. You said I get the vagina. And now I don't. I don't like it. Thanks a lot. That's not right in my book. Nope. Ja Rule, you've been had. Sorry, buddy. Get some new friends. You lost a race and you lost the girls. Know, right? Ridiculous. <sighs> rough. Would you recommend The Fast and the Furious to anyone? Uh, yeah. Even including your mother? Yeah. 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 Give me a, you got to give a reason why. I, because I, I love the movies. Okay. I did, okay that's okay. the only reason I fucking need. They're good movies. I mean, once you get to like... But why do you love five, these movies? Nostalgia. 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 But Had the newest one came out like in 2018. Yeah, so. but it's all part of it. I gotta keep going. I get what you're saying. I ain't gonna be no quitter. Yeah. It's all about family. Yeah. Well, my buddy in Washington, he is the one that got me into cars. Got me into Fast and Furious. Still one of my best friends. Yeah. So just watching it brings me back to Washington State and doing all the car things and living the best life. Living, living your the best, best life. life. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I mean. And then Luda. Luda. But Luda. that's not till the next movie. I know. Uh, I would definitely recommend this to people. This is definitely the movie to watch. If you were, you know, someone's like, if I want to watch Fast and Furious, what should I watch? Watch the first one. Yeah. You're going to know if you should continue. Yes. You know what I mean? Obviously, yeah, you can come in at any point because these movies don't fucking matter. But watch the first one to kind of understand what the movie should be about. Because definitely this is the best of them. Now, mm -hmm. I, I can't say that because I haven't seen all of them. But judging by the last one I saw, which, like I said, was either Fast Five or Fast and the Furious, there was a bridge. I remember there was a bridge at the end and it was like snow covered or something. I don't fucking remember. 
No, it wasn't snow covered. They jumped off it. I don't know. Somebody was hanging Can off a helicopter. Watch the rest of them. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As a joke, maybe I'll go through and and watch them. And if we need to, they're not terrible. Know. They're all the same. So then, why do I need to watch them? Because you still need you gotta watch just watch them. All right, I'm gonna say this. If I watch these movies, there should not be a movie that I say you need to watch that you'd be like, I'm not going to watch that. I mean, we just talked about one. One of the ones that was on the list. Yeah, what movie was that? I don't remember. See? <laughs> well, this is a memorable movie franchise. I will say it is a movie franchise. Yeah. Is it memorable? Yeah. It does have I a ride. I tell you every single one. Okay. One, we just, we just <laughs> talked about that one. Yep. Two. That's the one where they yep they uh, had the other undercover agent, and then I had uh, what's his name Mark, uh, not Mark, Tyrese. no, Mark Wahlberg, the white dude that was a, not a mob guy, but they had to go get his fucking cigar from his uh, Ferrari that got impounded, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. they hired him for a job, yeah, yeah, remember that one, Tokyo Drift, fucking trash, Tr- don't fucking watch that one, four, oh, that's where I'm lost. See, <laughs> I told you, I can't even do that. I don't even know what four. Well, I don't even know what came after Fast uh, uh, Tokyo Drift. What's four? Not Fast Five. No. Maybe it was Fast and Furious. Maybe that was Fast and Furious. Maybe. And then they did Fast Five, and then Fast Six, right? It was Fast Six? No. No. What was Seven? Furious Seven. It's just called Fury? Furious Seven. Furious. Fast and Furious? Mm -hmm. And what was Eight? Just Fast Eight? The Furious. Wow. They're getting Was really. It? They're getting really. Uh, Fuck, I don't remember. You know, a, a quick I'm IMDb yeah, would I'm be real quick. really easy uh, to figure this out. Um, what is this movie called? Fast and Furious. The Fast and the Furious. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, you're doing Fast that. The fun fact of the fucking Neither Michelle Rodriguez nor Jordana Brewster had their driver's license or even their learner's permits before production of this film. Okay. So, I mean, clearly they're not driving. Michelle Rodriguez is. Not really. Well, she's driving a car on camera. Doesn't mean she's actually driving, but they show her behind the wheel of the car. I'm pretty sure they showed Jordana Brewster, too, at one point behind the wheel. Who the fuck is that? The, Mia, the the girl, oh, that's her his name? sister, yeah, Jordana Brewster. Jordana Brewster. Jordana. Jordana. So what are the, the Fast and the Furious? Okay, Too Fast, Too Furious, and then if you want to get into it, Turbocharged. That's with uh, just Paul Walker. It's like an in between thing. Wait, what? The Turbocharged. It's just it's like an end thing for Too Fast, Too Furious. I like at the very was end, it? It like, shows him like going through stuff to get to Fast and Furious, which is number four. Okay. Yeah. That's a whole thing. Uh, Tokyo Drift, obviously. And then Fast and Furious number four, Fast Five, Fast and Furious six, Furious seven, The Fate of the Furious. That was number eight. Fate eight. <laughs> F9. 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 Fast, Fast you know what? You know what F9 is on a computer? Just shut your computer down. Does it? Yep. Well, don't. Well, uh, Alt F9. Don't do that. Fast X. Fast and Furious 10. Well, that's the one that's not out yet. Yeah. And they're already talking about doing Fast and Furious Crossroads. Whatever the fuck that is. That would be 10 to me. That is a video game. Oh. Why wouldn't you make 10 Crossroads? Get it? Yeah. Because it's a 10. Could have been it. Could have been done. Done. Dumbasses. Mark Wahlberg. Say hi to your mother for me. Christian Bale and Eminem were all considered for the part of Brian O'Connor before Paul Walker was cast. I don't think it would have been the same. Imagine Eminem. It would not be the same. Christian Bale mm, could have been the same because he can be anybody. There wouldn't have been as many. Mark Wahlberg? Ugh. There wouldn't have been as many Ugh. for any of them. No. Natalie Portman, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Kristen Dunst, B.U. Philip, B- B.U. I can never say her name. B.U. Phillips, and Jessica Beale auditioned for the role of Mia. The role of Mia was written for Elijah Duthku, but she turned it down. Duthku. Douche coup. Douche coup. Sorry. Douche? Douche coup. I don't, I don't know how to fucking really say it. Solid last name. What are girl. words? You know who that is. You've seen Do uh, Bring It On, right? Yeah. She's the girl with like the black hair from the other school. Oh. That okay. comes in and joins. Yeah. 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 
It was written for her. It was written for her. Like specifically for specifically her. Specifically for and her. And she was like, nah, I don't want it. I don't like cars. She fucked up. Uh, she could have been making money. Nah, because she's been in a lot of other things. Like what? Besides uh, what comes on, what comes to my mind right away is The New Guy, which was a kind of big movie in that same era. She was in a show called The Dollhouse on Fox, which was pretty big. I think it ran for like five seasons. It was either two or five seasons. Uh, she was in a whole bunch of other movies that were pretty big. She was yeah, in True Lies, which going. was, I understand. Is right. Jordana Brewster in all of them? No. She's Except in some of them. She's in most of them. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Look, I'm not her. Maybe I'm just saying she, she fucked, fucked up. She could have fucked she up. She could have got, got more got money. Up. Hey, hey, the first street money. race scene is supposedly a quarter mile race, taking approximately 10 seconds. However, the race takes almost two minutes of screen time and shows the vehicles driving in excess of 150 miles per hour, faster than even a 1,200 horsepower Bugatti Veyron can accomplish in a quarter mile. Mm-hmm. So I don't believe that. Yeah. It was not a quarter mile. Well, it's saying it's a quarter mile. I know. They shouldn't. It shouldn't have been. Yeah. yeah. I do like how the race is over and then in a split second they turn around and come back. I know. The right back. Right. Because it's in the quarter Also, mile. who is all the way down there to say, yeah, this is the line. This this person won. All the cars lined up. So they had enough cars. Do you not for remember a all the quarter cars? Quarter mile. Oh, I remember all the cars. That was a lot of cars. Or am I thinking of Too Fast, Too Furious? No, there was a lot of cars there. And to be fair, in order to do the race, because they show how they, you know, there's a pizza guy trying to get through, and he's like, hey, yo, you can't get yeah. through here. There's a race going on. Get the fuck out of here, right? Find another spot. So they would have to do that to every street for a quarter mile. Mm-hmm. So I could believe that at every intersection, there's cars. I can't believe that for the entirety of the quarter mile, there's cars. You never know. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean... I'm not really. It was like two fucking miles. So, yeah. Yeah. Probably. So, if it was even longer, then yeah, I'm I'm, I'm out. That wouldn't make no sense. A quarter mile is not that long. Have you been to a drag strip before? I used to race. Yeah. It's longer than you think it is. It's not that long. Yeah. 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 Director Rob Cohen was inspired to make the film after reading a 1998 Vibe magazine article called Racer X. What's so funny? Nothing. The whole thing came from a fucking magazine. A, a magazine uh-huh. that was talking about this underground street racing. Yeah, but now shit. he's on number 10. He got everything from a magazine. So, you know, good for him. Hey, ideas good come for from, him. Ideas come from anywhere, yeah. right? Uh, sorry, it's called Racer X about street racing in New York City and was watching an actual illegal street race at night in Los Angeles with the screenplay originally developed by Gary Scott Thompson and Eric Bergquist. The film's original title was Red Line before it was changed to The Fast and the Furious. Okay. okay. Red Line's not bad. No. You know, you're Red Line. Yeah. Because he's doing that through the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't have been bad. No, but how do you Red Line too fast? Red Line again. (laughs) Red Line overcharged. That's why he got paid to do it. You're right. You're right. Yep. Red Line. Oh, that would be it. Red Line number one and then number two, Red Line. Never lined it. Never number three. <laughs> Redlined again. My car blew up. <laughs> On February 21st, 2019, Cohen, the director's 32 year old daughter, Valkyrie Weather, what a name, Jesus, accused Cohen of sexually assaulting her as a child as well as sexually assaulting another woman. Weather, who began identifying as a transgender woman as an adult, further claimed that Cohen had taken her to visit sex workers in Thailand and the Czech Republic when she was 12, supposedly in an attempt to turn her straight. Was this made true? It's his own daughter saying all these things. So, yes. Is he in jail? Although Cohen's catalog... Yeah. Although Cohen denied these claims in a later statement, Diane Metzner, Cohen's former wife and Weather's mom, confirmed that she had witnessed at least one of these incidents of sexual assault against Weather as a child. Another allegation of sexual assault was published by the Huffington Post on September 28, 2019. Cohen's lawyer denied any wrongdoings. So, what? How is it wrong? Not wrongdoings. 
He's saying that he didn't do anything. Right. His lawyer oh. is saying, I, well, I'm, 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 I'm innocent, liar. right? Fucking... But if his own wife and his own daughter is saying these things happened. Yeah, you, you did it. You, you don't just say something. that. Right, yeah. exactly. And specifically saying that, you know, she's she was born a man, a boy, whatever, mm -hmm. and then later transitioned to a woman. But at the time when she was 12, her dad took her to Thailand and the Czech Republic to get with sex workers to make her straight. That's fucked up. That's even... Yeah. I don't think that's worse than sexually assaulting your own child. That's still fucked. But that's still even just as fucked. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, no, you ain't gay. Fuck these chicks. Yeah. You're 12? So what... Fuck these chicks. Valkyrie was a boy. Correct. Legitimately a boy. Was born a boy, then became a transgendered woman when she was an adult. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. So, essentially... Understood now. Got it. I ain't gay. I'm yeah. a woman, right? <laughs> but that's still fucked yeah. up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for your own dad to do that. Yeah. Oof. Fuck him. Yeah, I mean, you just accept who your who your, 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 your spawn become. Yes. You know what I mean? It, as long as they're happy, that's all yep. that should matter. So, On January 24th, 2021, actress Asia Argento alleged that Cohen drugged her. I am not going to say the name of this drug, but I'm going to attempt it. Yes. With gamma hydroxyburate and raped her during the filming of Triple X. A representative of Cohen denied Argento's assault accusation as absolutely false. So when well, pretty much, yeah. Okay. I would assume that gamma hydroxyburate <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty good. I think you're almost there. I think I'm close, yeah. yeah. But still, if this guy has other allegations against him, and then this comes out. Come, I, on, bro. come on, dude! Like, come on! You're not just gonna be like, ah, everybody's against me. One, just stop, Cohen. Just, just come on, Cohen. Stop. Just stop. Just what don't do, you do it. Considering he hasn't really directed anything since 2018, yeah. he's done. Pretty sure this is all true, and he's just sweeping it under the rug. Yep. You know, not not a good look for uh, Hollywood. For, for yeah, pretty much. Yeah, people with power. Let's say because yeah. there's probably some shit that. Let's be through, real. Yeah. Throughout the ages. Yeah. There is some know. shit that's happened. You know, so I was watching the, the TV show. We're not going to get too deep in this, but I'm going to get deep in this for right now because this is Steve's wise words of wisdom. I was watching the TV show that's on Netflix, Dahmer, right? Somebody said in the, in the show, or they were trying to figure out why is there an uh, influx of serial killers now? Like they showed John Wayne Gacy. I don't know if you've seen the show or not, but they showed John Wayne Gacy. Eh, that's fine. They show a whole bunch of other, well, they just show one other, you know, serial killer, and then they show uh, Dahmer watching it on TV of, like, an interview with John Wayne Gacy, and then the person's basically like, why is there an influx of all these serial killers right now? And then they show Dahmer going and talking to a priest saying kind of the same thing, like, mm -hmm. do you think there's something wrong with us, or do you think God's doing this, or the devil's doing all this? And it made me start thinking, like, I don't think there was an influx or there is an influx of serial killers. I think there's an influx of information. Yeah. Right? This has always been happening. Mm -hmm. But we're just knowing about it now or we're it's catching It's happening people. right now. Right. Right? Which is fucking terrifying. Well, what I'm saying is go back 150 years. If there was a serial killer, would you know about him? Absolutely not. I could have been a serial killer in that time and been the the fucking mayor of yeah. a town and nobody's going to know nobody's about it because guess what oh you found me you dead yep. who's going to come after me you know no what i mean one. and going further even back what were humans doing to survive potentially killing them you know each other to survive in different tribes or different places look at the world wars look at all this you had all these people and they even go into that in in the Dahmer series like these people come back from war and they just don't know what to do with themselves mm -hmm. so some of them maybe become serial killers kill but is it war that did that maybe to some people but also some people could have just always been that way yeah i don't think there's a hey i was raised this way and that's why i want to kill people i literally think it's just it's in you you know what I mean? Like, get away with it. Do what you want to do. Not saying it's right or wrong, but you're going to get caught, motherfucker. But it's just always been there. I don't think there's ever an influx, just like if we're looking at homosexuality. There's it's not an influx. It's, it's always, always been, been there. there. Look yeah. at fucking paintings of the Roman times. I know. 
Yeah. They were the gayest bunch of them all. Yes. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. Dudes used to kiss each other high. Exactly. Yeah. Dude kisses the back of somebody's head on this movie. I know. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's not happening. So just uh, knowing more about it. A lot more about it. Exactly. Yeah. So to me, you can have all these studies. You can have all these things to figure out what's going on. It's it's always been here. It's always, it's just human nature. Yeah. Right? So for people to say that's wrong or this is unjust or you being gay goes against the Bible or anything like that or, you know, you can sit down and break it down like the Bible says don't kill. The Bible doesn't say don't have sex with a man. Don't have sex with a woman if you're a woman. It doesn't say that, but it says don't kill. You know what I mean? But those same people, we're getting deep into this, those same people will say, I want this person killed with the death penalty. Yeah. For being gay. It's yeah. fucked up. It's very fucked up. I don't know how we just it's launched into this. Know. The Fast Fucking and Furious Cohen. has brought out the gay the, God, <laughs> the gay agenda. No, has brought out some serious talk on the decision reel, on the extra reel. Look at this. Yes. Maybe we get extra. See? here getting deep into things but if you're enjoying what you're hearing now oh where can you find us right always find us on our social media at the decision reel on Dr. facebook instagram twitter youtube Ooh. face did i ever say facebook? face face range is that a face thing? face place face place um Ooh, let's make our own face social place. media face place. face place from that's from know. the show probably or you can listen the fake to us. facebook yeah yeah you can listen to us where on spotify apple podcast wherever you listen to your podcast you can also go to our website, www.thedecisionreel.com, and find t-shirts. T-shirts. Well, if you go there right now, you're going to find a whole bunch of shit, because yeah. we got some new merch rolling out for 2023. We got hats, women's apparel. We got stickers, mugs, cups, mm. a bunch of shit. Mm. You want an iPhone case? Maybe I'll make an iPhone case. Nobody wants to rock it, but it's fine. Support us that way. You make an iPhone case before you made a case like that? They only offer an iPhone case. Yeah. Well, yeah. superior. Guess what? I can get a sticker and just, just put it on, bitch there. on there. That's all I ever do. It's the same thing. Same you know. fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I think there's nothing else to talk about with the Fast and Furious unless we're going to do more Fast and Furious movies. Today? Not today, no. No. But just saying in general. I'm going to. Maybe. It's going to come back up. Fuck boy season is here. <laughs> Fuck and boy it's here season. here to stay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, um... Thanks for listening to this episode of yes. The Extra Real. There's probably some some more Extra Real episodes on their way, as well as our other episodes here at The Decision Real. We have our main channel episodes, then we have the How Have You Not Seen This series, where we break That's down movies fun. that you have not seen somehow, even though they're like very big releases that everyone's seen. Look, man, I'm just living my life. Just living my life. I haven't living seen shit. Life. That's yeah. fine. No, we got some other big movies in store for that series. Uh, coming up, we probably should have done like a holiday series for that, but fuck it, we're already fuck at it. a point where we're not. Yeah, uh, but it's fine. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Enjoy yourselves. Goodbye.